what's up YouTube? My name is Jasmine and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Alright y'all, so if y'all want to get this cute makeup look that I did, watch to the end. And without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Um, quick disclaimer, I, I don't really know what I'm doing, you know. I'm still practicing and learning, so y'all can just practice and learn with me, you know. So... Um, I already moisturized my face. I always make sure my face is moisturized. The last time I did my makeup, which I tried to film this video yesterday, and it just didn't work out too well. Um, I don't know why. It just didn't work out too well. But I recently bought this, um, primer. It's color correcting face primer. So I'm only going to use a little bit of this. This is what it looks like, by the way. I got it from this, um, place in the mall. It was only like a dollar, so I would assume it's not gonna work as good. But I'm not even finna use too much. Like, y'all see how much I used. I'm literally not about to use too much of this because when I used a lot of this yesterday, it didn't come out right. Only put on a little bit. Now, what is this gonna do? I don't know, but I just wanted to make sure I had some type of primer. So, next thing I do is I go in with my MAC um foundation yes i use foundation um it's in the color nc55 this is what the foundation looks like and then the way i apply it is i just use this brush because i forgot what this brush is originally for but it doesn't work so and i don't like how thin it is so i just use it to apply the makeup to my face yeah but i just take this and i dip it in here and I only put on a little bit at a time because I wanted to make, I wanted to still look like it's, you know, like my skin, if that makes sense. I don't put too much on. And then I go in with this brush. It's called Total Face by e.l.f. I just use it and I basically go in circular motions around my entire face. I don't really dap it, but I just go like this. But y'all see how that looks like my skin? It look good already. Like, it's already looking good. I like how it's turning out so far. So normally I would do my brows first, which I skipped the whole step. Um, but basically, this is the e.l.f. Brow Lift. I use this for my eyebrows as well as some type of lash glue. Um, so I just use this um, strip lash adhesive from Kiss. And basically what I do is I take my little thing that has a spoolie on it and I pretty much go like this to lift my brows basically um, before I put anything on them. Then I will go in with the, the um, brow lift and I just put a little bit on there and I take it and I go through my brows like so. And for the for this, I don't use too much. I literally use like a little dot, but I make sure that I put it throughout my eyebrow. And I do the same thing for the other side. All right, you guys. So here's where I started to use my concealer in the shade Almond, and basically I was doing under my eyebrows, which I'm still kind of learning how to do. But as you see here, I'm just taking my brush and trying to blend it in a little bit before I go in with the beauty blender, and I'm just blending that in until it looks, you know, good enough to my liking, and I don't look like a clown. And I did blend a lot just because I felt like I needed to blend a lot. So I just blended, like I said, until I felt like it looked good enough. And I like around my eyes to be bright. So if it looks bright on camera, it was a little bit bright, but I like around my eyes to look bright just to highlight my eyes, if that makes sense. Now here I am using the same shade of concealer to basically conceal under my eyes. I really didn't use too much concealer. As you see, I didn't use much and I just used that same small brush to, you know, pretty much pat it in and blend it in. And then after that, I went behind with the beauty blender and just blend it under my eyes. Honestly, again, like I said, I like from under my eyes to be a little bit brighter. So that's why I used a lighter shade of concealer versus using the same shade as my skin. 
So here I am going in with the Fenty Beauty um, contour in the shade Espresso. And honestly, y'all, I love this contour down. But I get very heavy handed when it comes to the contour. So I do try to do light strokes on the side of my cheeks, as you see here. And then I also do the top of my forehead just because I feel like the contour makes the top of my forehead look less um, ginormous in a way. I also do like the peak of my nose and then I take this angled brush and basically what I do is I contour I basically like contour the side of my nose but I kind of start from my eyebrow and go down just because I feel like that's what works for me best you know what may work for me may not work for you but that's what works for me and as you see here I'm just swiping from side to side because that's how I blend it and then when I do the side of my nose I blend it upward into my eyebrow because it helps and I just feel like it makes my nose look better but when I I did do this contour i noticed that my nose looked super lengthy but honestly the finished product looked super cute so all i have to say for this is just trust the process y'all just trust the process now here i do feel like this part is pretty self-explanatory all i'm doing is taking an angled brush um i did hold the contour brush a little weirdly but i was just trying to make sure that i was blending the contour in well enough so basically all i did was kind of you know do a little swipe on my face up and down um just until it blended well enough to my liking and honestly i love the way it turned out so i would definitely be sure to do my contour like this more often and then i just did the same thing for the top of my head you guys so that is going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video now i know on camera it looks under my eyes looks super duper bright but i promise in person it's not super bright um but yeah this is the makeup i did try a little bit of blush so i don't know if it's going to show up on camera but i know you can definitely see the contour and whatnot on camera and honestly everything my camera making everything look dramatic as hell and it's really not that dramatic i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like comment subscribe turn on post notification bell share with a friend if you like seeing me outside of youtube all my social medias will be in the description box down below and without further ado i will see you guys in my next video and until then mwah, bye Try to hold me, see me, I'm saying hold for you. I'm saying I put it to...